Third minute sees Rodney's Megan Powers with the corner. Jesse Prilliman, the power header, appears to deflect off Laney Ford and in. one nothing Riders just three minutes into the contest. Stoppage time of the first half. CR tries to clear, but it's right to paddle as Rachel Simpson. She takes a shot and a wicked deflection off a Rider defender and in. Game was tied at one. Still in the first half, less than a minute later, Ashley Brentlinger at the end line. She's going to cross it back to Aaron Apostolico, who finds Olivia Buschetti. It's a brilliant play and a 2-1 paddle will lead at the half. Two minutes into the second half, Bree Hallow with a free kick, and hello, hello, three goals in four minutes. Padua is up 3-1. Padua going for more here off the free kick, but a brilliant reaction saved by Morgan DeSaulnier, and another header throws it back, and the next kick goes over the bar. Two of DeSaulnier's 11 saves, but 66th minute, Brentlinger, the PK, and she buries it. Hallow adds a second, Padua wins 5-1. Oh my god, it was incredible. Um, I, I'm still in shock. It's just, I'm so happy that we got to get that goal right at the end of the first half. We just knew we wanted it really bad this game. We wanted to come out with a win, bring the trophy back to our school, and there's nothing we couldn't do with the love we have for this team and for this game. We came out with a little bit of a slower start than we wanted, but we didn't lose faith the whole time. We were, I was definitely uh, had confidence in my players, and I know they had confidence in me too. That's what makes this team special. We've worked all year for this. We've put in so many hours. This team has such a good bond on and off the field, and I think that's what just makes this team a huge success. And we were not nervous one bit. We just knew that we had to come out with more intensity, especially in the beginning of the second half. Once we got our first goal, we knew we had to put it on them and keep driving at them and putting it on them, and then eventually they would break down, which is what happened. At Caravelic, Sean Green for DelawareSportsZone.com.